Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, let's take a look at the new Wi-Fi 6 travel router from Geo iNet, the Barrel AX product called Geo's MT3000. The Barrel AX is the successor of the Barrel Geo's MT1300 with the powerful MediaTek MT79A1B 1.3 GHz dual core processor and 512 MB of DDR4 RAM. It has a 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet 1 port and up to 3000 Mbps Wi-Fi 6 throughput. 2402 Mbps is available on the 5 GHz channel and 574 Mbps is available on the 2.4 GHz channel. Inheriting the designs of the predecessors, the Barrels AX also have two foldable antennas, a reset button, a toggle switch, and a small LED at the front side to indicate power and status. The micro SD card connector is no longer available. But don't worry, you can always expand the storage or set up a NAS with the USB 3.0 port. This USB port can also be used to connect an LTE or 5G USB modem such as the Cattle's EC25 or the AT&T USB 800. For the network ports, the Barrel AX had a 2.5 Gigabit 1 port and a Gigabit LAN port. The 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet 1 port is great, it allows you to maximize the Wi-Fi 6 throughput, however, I will be happier if the LAN port is also 2.5 gigabit. Nevertheless, it is just a travel router and we can't expect too much, or else the cost will increase. Inside the box, you will have a 513A universal power adapter to power on the device. It comes with EU, UK, and US plug. You don't need to worry about the AC connector wherever you go. VPN throughput of the Barrel AX has been improved. According to the manufacturer, Wygod VPN throughput can reach up to 300 Mbps, and Open VPN throughput is up to 150 Mbps. The Barrel AX is running on the MediaTek SDK V4. It is based on OpenWRT 21.02 with Linux kernel 5.4. After logging to the web admin panel at 192.168.8.1, you will see the elegant web interface from GeoINet. If this is your first time connecting to the router, you will have to set up a new root power to get started. The web UI is simple and easy to navigate. At the home page, you can have an overview of the router. From here, you can set up the internet connection with GSCP, PPoE, cellulars, or USB tethering, and even turn the routers into a repeater. On the wallet tab, you can change the Wi-Fi address ID, set the password as well as changing all the advanced parameters such as channel, bandwidth, and TX power, etc. On the VPN tab, you can set up OpenVPN and Wygod VPN connection easily with drag and drop feature. You can also turn the device into a VPN server with just a few clicks. You can also block ads with the pre-installed at God Home package. All you need to do is go to the package tab and enable at God Home. Here, you can also configure external storage or turn on GDNS service to remotely manage the router with good cloud. Down below, on the network tab, you can set up multi one with the Barrel AX. The router supports failover and loss balancing multi one with different types of connection such as Ethernet, Cellular, Tethering, and even Repeater or AP Client. There are also hardware acceleration where you can turn on and off the hardware offloading. If you want to control the bandwidth for each user or using SQM QoS, you should turn it off. On the System Overview tab, we can have a nice dashboard of the CPU load, temperatures, and memory uses. Here, we can also manage the LED and external storage if it is attached. 
Right here, we can also see the Linux kernel version and the OpenWRT build. If you miss the Lucy Web UI, you can always go to the advanced settings and find the link to Lucy there. However, please be careful when making changes with Lucy because it may break the router configuration. Now, let's take a look at the Barrel AX performance. With the one interface in GSCP client mode, I run some tests to see the one to LAN throughput. My test servers is located on the one side, it is running OpenCPTAT and IPUB3 server. Let's check the Wi Fi 6 throughput first. To fully utilize the bandwidth of the 2.5 gigabit one port, I connect the PC to the Barrel AX via Wi Fi 6 on the 5 GHz channel. As you can see, the receive and transmit link speed is now 1201 Mbps. The wireless adapter is the Intel AX210, which supports Wi Fi 6E. With open speed test, I got 1056 Mbps download and 922 Mbps upload. This is more or less the same with Gigabit Ethernet. Running the same test on IPUB3, the recorded throughput is 905 Mbps. During the test, the CPU load only below 5%. Now let's switch to the 1 to LAN throughput test with Ethernet cable. In this test, PC is connected to the Gigabit LAN port of the Barrel AX. With open speed test, I got 985 Mbps download and 988 Mbps upload. IPUB3 throughput is stable at 951 Mbps. Alright, so that's it the result with the hardware acceleration on. Now, I will turn it off and see if there are any differences. We can see that the throughput is still the same when we have the hardware acceleration on. There is no much difference in the CPU utilization. Besides the GOI Net Web Interface, you can also monitor and manage the Barrel AX with the Lucy Web Interface. To access this, you can go to the advanced settings and find URL there. The username and root and the password is the one that you set at the beginning. Right here, we can see the models Geos iNet MT3000, Linux kernel 5.4.211, and it is running on OpenWRT 21.02 branch. Some of the network interfaces have been pre configured such as GAS, Tethering, and Wallet WAN. If you want to modify some parameters, I suggest doing it with Edit Edge or using the GOI Net Web Admin. Making changes with Lucy could break the router configuration and cause some conflicts. Next to the Network tab, we can see a new MTK tab. In this tab, we can configure the MediaTek Wi-Fi 6 MT79A1. There are two radios. One is working on the 2.4 GHz channel and the other one is working on the 5 GHz channel. Let's click on the configure button and see what we have. Alright, a lot of fields to configure such as NSID, Authenticate mode, Encryption, Operating mode and HD protection, etc. There are also other tabs such as HEMU, WPS and WDS, etc. So far, we already have an overview of the Barrel AX travel router, the Geos MD3000. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.